What's good YouTube, Gabe here, and now we're gonna start doing some market watches, because that's content that everybody enjoys. So, before we begin, this is just gonna be completely bi- Soft my, I'm um, sorry, the, uh, they're cut out. This will be completely based on my personal opinion. I'm just a guy with a microphone. Nothing I say should be taken as gospel. If I say a card's like $20 now, and I say that it's not going to get lower, and you buy it, and it gets lower, that's on you. We're going to start doing these uh, closer to box releases, because it's everybody's favorite time of the month, Sneak Peek Week for the uh, Zoo Booster, aptly named the Zooster. So, we're going to take a look at the cards um, with their pre-release prices, how I think they're going to change, and some other cards that are being seen played in the OCG in terms of the deck and how they are working in the marketplace. So, we're going to go towards the Wikia here. Thank you, Wikia, for organizing everything, and we're just going to look up all of the card lists of the Zoo Booster and see what everything is doing. So, first is Zoa. So, if you don't know this, uh, Zoa actually comes two in a case because it's the Zoo Booster, and there's only Zoo cards, so Zoa shouldn't be that expensive for ZR rarity. So, uh, pre-release wise, uh, Zoa is going for $80. Um, yeah, we got 80 for Core TCG, rounding out to 110 worth Super Games Inc. Um, I think it's going to go down quite a bit because I think a lot of people don't realize that there's going to be two of it in the case, and when more cases get cracked, it's going to go down. And on top of that, it's really one of the worst ZRs next to Drachma, so I highly doubt it's going to be that much. I Also, unlike Drachma, who has five plans to support, Zoo only has three, so there's less of a demand for Zoa. So I really don't think Zoa will be that much. I think Zoa will go down to like the 60 range really, but you know, I'm going to pick up a copy because it looks pretty and it's going to be in my case. So next is Overwhelm, Poison Sickle. Um, this has been going for a lot from what I've seen so far and TCG Player has the pre-release price of Overwhelm going for, as it loads, uh, $62. Um, Honestly, I think it's going to be around this range. I don't think it's going to go lower than 40 or 50 because Greater Eye is like a tier 1 deck. And this is an amazing stride that's basically a mandatory 4 of in at least all Greater Eye decks and maybe in more Mega Colony builds. So because of how good it is and the GR low pull rate rarity it has, I really don't see it going that much lower than the 60 that it is. I think if you can get like... I don't think, it, like, the lowest it'll go is, like, I think the lowest it's gonna go is, like, 40, all honesty, just because of how good of a card. I have no idea how to spell Omnisians. Um, Borrow, I think. Yeah, that's probably the only one. So next to the Great Nature GR, Bilaral, I'm sorry, which is going for 25, Jesus Christ. I think it was only, only going for, like, 10 or something in the OCG. From what I remember, let me go check that price real quick. Uh, Japanese card fight Vanguard singles. I that card has to be going down in price soon. Like, there's why is it always a grain on this website? There's no way it's gonna stay that price after 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 a sneak peek. I'm recording this on January 25th. I know it's close to release date, but deal with that as you will. So yeah. Bilaral is... What, how the fuck is this ordered? Um... Is it just by... No? Okay, cool. Um... Oh god, this is frustrating. I am so sorry, YouTube, that this has to be like this. Um... Command F this. There we go. Okay, no, never mind. I was wrong when I found it. No, yeah, this is probably the price it's gonna maintain. It might go down a little bit, but, like... I wouldn't expect it to go that much uh, lower than it is. Lastly is my homegirl Velamina, Flower Princess of four seasons, not five, all four of the seasons. So she's going for a flat 60 uh, pre-release, oh, 56, market price at 60. Um, 
I think it's gonna take... I think it's gonna, like, stay around that price. I really don't even think it's gonna go below 50, just because it's, like, the same price on this, like, TCG website. Yeah, it's more expensive there, and, like, I, it's a great card. It's, like, being seen at 2 or 3. I really don't think it's gonna go much lower than this. Um, if you're playing, planning on playing Blue Osher, I'm sorry, but you get to deal with this. So next is Dark Face. I'm just gonna do Dark Face because both Alakides and Great Aura are a part of it. Great Aura at 20 for this, at least for Core TCG, the rest being 27. I think it's gonna stay around this price too, just because it's around that price in the OCG. Great Aura from like some sites I've been seeing is like 27. So I think it's a good price. Same with Alakides. I think these are gonna be around the same. Um, Honestly, I think that these are, like, around the price that they are just because I'm doing it so close to the actual release. Like, these are being released in, like, 12 hours, honestly. Technically, they can be sold within, like, 6. So, um, I'm gonna start doing these a bit earlier for other videos, but I think, like, so far, all the prices right now are gonna be what you anticipate. Like, what are gonna be what they're gonna be. Also, um, Original Dark Face is go only going for 4 I'm kind of surprised it's at four because it's there's no way it's gonna see play in a dark racer because it's so much worse than Greatera and it doesn't have a rear guard ability like Alakides so I think dark race is gonna stay there. I'm kind of surprised merciless dark face is as where it is too because I feel like with great um overwhelm and Obtorandus it's gonna stay at like the like, it's not really going to be in the G-Zone, so I'm kind of surprised it's at 25. I guess it's because it's only the one printing. But, you know, I don't play Greater on it. I have no plans on it, so I don't know anything. Next is Big Belly. So I got a, got a bit thirsty there. Um, $4 for Big Belly. Yeah, this is probably about how much it's going to be, like... It's, it's not going to be an expensive card. Uh, comparing it to TCG Japan, it's... Oh, oh that's the SP. Um, nope, not the SP. I want the Triple R. Yeah, that's going to be around this price. It's not... Like, Big Belly's really not seeing any play, except for like a couple of rush builds from what I've been seeing. Artistic, also a lot. Uh, nice Archer reference there. Boucher Road. Um... Two dollars. Well, yeah, it's not gonna go. It's really gonna stay in this range. I'm. I'd be kind of. I feel like it's gonna pull, like, uh, the the two triple R's from set twelve for Neo Charl and Lietha. I think it's gonna be like one of those dollar triple R's. It's it's not it's not gonna be anything. Um. All right, now we're on to Phantasmic Blue Asha, because, you know, Asha can never be cheap. Let's see. Okay, 35 fucking dollars. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. It might go a bit lower, because we're still technically on uh, Sneak Peek, but I think it's going to stay around this price, just because that's how much Searing was on release for no reason, and Blue Asha's better, even though it doesn't have Bloom, so... They have to stay around this $200 for that SP. No, it's 200 to 250 to 270 If you pull that... If I pull... I'm doing a case split. If I pull this, my case split basically just fucking bought itself. So... God damn. Why is Nino expensive? Okay, next is Blooming... Collective Blooming Maiden Kara. This card makes me sad because it's specifically based off of the... 10k below from the trail dark, but that was Kayla C E L A, and Kara is just spelled differently for no reason. Ten dollars. That's for about what I've been seeing. I think it might go down to around like seven or eight. It's just because it's kind of eh. But I mean, no, it's, she's a great card. But like, it's at ten right now. I feel like she has a higher pull rate than Blue Asha, so it's gonna go down. Uh, machining, because you know that's what people care about. Uh, machining, oppression, something. Yeah, how many cards named Oppression are there in this damn TCG world? Sick art, though. Looks kind of like a Gundam. A dollar seventy-eight. That's it's it's gonna go lower because it's a double R machining. Uh, that's a it's yeah, that's a fair price. Machining beat off Atlas. Oh, it's oh it's like the fucking vegetable. Why the hell not? Um, same price. Kind of expected of like. 
double R's for subclans. Like, it's gonna stay around. Let's, I don't think it's gonna go that much lower. Black Weevil, which is the uh, Dark Face PG. What? How? How much is this going? Uh, two dollars. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right because it can only guard Dark Faces. So, it, like for whatever reason you would want a PG, it's kind of not gonna get that much more expensive. I think it's a fine price. Machining Snowwing. It's the heal trigger with the skill. I don't know how like what this is gonna be. It's five dollars. Just yeah, because all of these heals have really wonky prices. Some are super expensive, like the from what I remember, like the blue wave one was like what eight dollars. Um, and but like some of the other ones from the set were like two. Let, let me find her. I can't remember her name because I don't play. What the? Okay, I guess she wasn't a blue wave soldier. Uh, I don't want to just fuck it. Let's just go to blue wave. Oh, let's get that rest of that. Oh, right there. Uh, yeah, this was like, it's six now, it was eight before, and then there's drag. How much is Dragon Dancer Tara? Actually, Dancer Tara. Because it's not a part of a subplane, but it is a part of Kagero. So, yeah. Uh, Tara's cheaper. Uh, it's like only five dollars. These have like a weird wonky range of prices. Oh, hey, uh. The, da the great, not the, the purge bump up the 48 because of the representation of worlds. Hashtag 6 out of 8 in the comments, boys. Um, yeah, so these have a really wonky price, but you, so I feel like 5 for the snow wing is going to be pretty good. Next is uh, the only honorary professor stride. Honorary professor Amelio Chanois, who is how you do a bunch of vanguard attacks. 95 cents. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is not going to do anything. Um, Chevrolet. Honorary Professor is just weird, because the grade 3 lineup and the overall playstyle is kind of inconsistent with each other. A dollar, there's not much synergy, unlike with Machinings. So I feel like these are going to be some fair prices. I really don't see them going more. Uh, Revision Scientist Deli Belly. Uh, I love that name. Because I'm Jewish, so I gotta love them delis. A dollar to two dollars for the PG. There's th there's no reason it should be more than that, or I don't think it's gonna go that much lower either. Uh, Automatism Koala. I really don't think it's gonna. This is. I think it's gonna be on the cheaper end because Great Nature doesn't have um, any uh, subclans really to fit it in, and it's Great Nature. So uh, pre-release price, market price is three fifty. Um, yeah, and my I, then it, it, for all I know it's gonna go even lower because it's not it's part of like a tier low tier two deck at best, and it's not a sub clan card, so uh, I I don't know I I don't see it going I it might go down even further but I don't know anything about Great Nature. Next is uh, the new Cecilia who uh, Virginal Cecilia. What the hell was that name again? Uh, Maiden Lily Musketeer, sure, because Nidoxu doesn't have not not does, Nidoxu doesn't have enough maidens. Um, how much is this grill going for? She's a pretty solid stride. Uh, a dollar seventy. Yeah, I, that sounds about right. I don't think it's gonna change that much. It might go even lower after the set officially drops. Um, Lantana Musketeer Rosita, who's the Gurgit Luard offspring. Uh, like two, three bucks. I think it's gonna go lower. How much is Mia Rhea, Rita going for right now? This is like, because this is pre release. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, okay. I didn't expect that. So, for all I know, it might be going, uh, Rosita might go up, but because it's so cheap right now, if you do plan on playing Musketeers it from the set, I would recommend picking it up now. Just because it's you can get the playset for like ten bucks. So just pick it up. How much is Um Myra going for? I don't know the full name. Rebella Molly Splendorous Musketeer Myra. That's the name. That's the name. <sighs> Nine bucks too. Yeah, these seem like average prices for everything. Let me just peep these. Um, seeing uh, seven dollars for Rebecca makes sense. 
Uh, kind of surprised that Antonio's $3, especially because Musketeer is getting a PG that is a lower rarity and actually has a skill, so I don't know why it's that much, but you're not going to be playing it anyways, it's irrelevant. $5 for Cecilia, I can see that. Uh, $1.50 for Augusto. Yeah, I, I, Cecilia is leaving because Rosita is in the deck, so I feel like these prices are going to remain pretty, pretty firm. Next is Seeding Maiden Tierney, who's the new Bloom PG. I'm pretty happy with her. She's a decent card. She, uh, same thing as Deli Belly and Weevil. $40 price tag for that SP. Beautiful. Um, what kind of, yeah, it is what it is. It's not, it's just a cheap card. I, I'd recommend picking it up if you want to play it. Um, Nikla. This is a weird one, because I have been seeing it go so far for $8, at least on trading card mints. I haven't really seen it on here. So it's saying the market price is uh, $5, $4 co dollars for the copy. Yeah, so now I've um, I've learned my lesson. I'm going to start doing these closer uh, to the beginning of Sneak Peek Week and not the day before release. I didn't really get the idea to do this until today, so that's why, but... Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a, maybe a dollar cheaper after the set settles in, but there's a lot of store selling, so um, it is what it is. Um, what's next on this list? Okay, so that does it for the foils. Um, yeah. Um, okay, well, I'll look at the... Um, yeah, you know, let's, let's look at the reprints, because they already got a few reprints, so it's not like... I don't think these are going to be that expensive anyways. Oh, what the f Oh, wow, the reprint of Bomb Scissor is still $7. Wait, where's the... Where's the... the oh, that's a tech booster. Does it have... Oh, no, the, yeah, the reprint's $5. I was being stupid, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, because Darkface is Tier 1, and... Um, yeah, I can see it. I don't think it's going to go much lower. Uh, it's cheaper to get the triple R and has a pattern, so if you don't have the deck yet, get, I highly recommend getting that triple R, because the pattern looks pretty decent. Next is a Pawn Belly. Application. Please don't. Um, so $3 for the double, 2 for the triple, so the same thing. Um, yeah, it's just the same thing. If you don't have Big Belly, you want to pick it up, get that triple R, just because it's more foils. I don't know how I'm going to feel about the Milus one, because Milus already got that um, triple R reprint um, in the Try 3 booster, so I don't know how much it's going to be. So the original printing is 3, and the Zoo booster printing is 4, and the Try 3 printing is 4. Um, so yeah, it's probably going to remain that 4, because they all are. I kind of want to pick up the Try 3 printing just because it is, it's triple R and it's alt art and uh, it's alt art, it has, and I think it has a nicer foiling honestly, so, but I currently have the double R and there's no SP of it, so I don't know, but I'm probably going to pick up at least one just so I don't, don't have the bland just general shimmer that is my list. Uh, that's it for actual sets. Um, if you don't watch the listen to the podcasts, best stuff in the set is Mega Colony because it's been doing more in the OCG than Asha, but for whatever reason, Asha just costs more because everybody hates me. So if you want to pick, if you want to pick up, I think these are the prices right now are the prices that you're gonna want to get at because I don't think I don't see much shift in them. I'm gonna look at some of the other, like, relevant cards to the clan just to see how they shift, like, uh, Noel was, like, a $20 card at some point, uh, after try 3, and I think it, like, capped off at, like, 10, and it's still a $15 card, even though it's not really that good in the deck anymore, because it doesn't give boost, so it doesn't really work with Velamina. so I don't recommend you picking up Noel if you already have it, I'd probably take it out with some of the new stuff in the set, but there's there's no reason to buy for this price because there's no reason to even have it in the deck. Uh, how much is Charlotte Charl going for? Uh, 
she's actually going to be seeing some play. Okay, Charles going for uh, two and a half bucks, which I think is an increase from what I remember, just because it wasn't. Yeah, it's about like the price it was when it first released, just because it's actually seeing play thanks to the new stuff. Lieta two makes sense just because it's run only really run at two, but these these prices seem for what is being played in the OCG in the Asha variants. These are like the these are some good prices. Um, what else is there? What's Inverno going for? Inverno. I got one of these in the SGR thanks to my boy Tristan. So 15 for the GR and 25 for the SGR. I remember it being at 9 at some point. I think it was at 6, so it is increasing with some of the new stuff. Actually, what I do want to check is the Dream Spinning and Glorious pair, because most of the decks I've seen don't run it anymore, and I'm not going to be running it anymore. Okay, so yeah, because Dream Spinning, if you don't remember, used to be like a $25, $30 card. Now it's been knocked down to 10 uh, 25 for either of the SP printings, and so, yeah, these are fine prices, because they are decent, gen it's a decent, um, generic stride, so, um, I think it's gonna stay that price, you don't really need an, an Asha anymore, uh, wow, Glorious Bloom is cheaper than Dream Spinning, that's, did not ever expect that to happen, um, wow, so, that's a thing, um, Inez, Inez is the one I somehow I was about to miss. It's a big one, because Inez was, like, never above $10, and now it's, as you can see, it's skyrocketed up to 12 There's a, it's listed for $18 and $20 here. Um, there's only three different listings for the triple R, and there's none from the SP from what I checked, so. Um, Inez is seeing play. If you got him, hold on to him. If you, but if, if you're playing Asha, hold on to him. If you're gonna sell, I would sell now, because I don't see them being hyped above this 13 mark. Um, what else? What's some Mega Colony Red? Oh, Obterandus, because um, Obterandus uh, has been like wonky. It's like a super hyped card. 80 fucking dollars. What the fuck, Jesus? Um. What was it at its peak? Like 30? So if you don't have Mega Colony and you don't want to play it, sell this ASAP. Um, because it there's no way it's gonna go above 80. I I'd be but and also no one's gonna buy it for even close to like I if you can find somebody to sell this to 50 or 60, you're plusing. Like I'd I'd push this the moment you can. How much is Crayon Tiger going for? Because there's like a new um card in the Great Nature part that can, with Crown Tiger can make a re-standing card that can't be guarded so it might have gone up with that it's 16 yeah so it's it's stagnant Crown Tiger hasn't really been changing in its price uh Mana Garm at that seven um Sh Shell Master's gone down to like four I don't yeah I don't think a lot of the um prices for some of the stuff is changing just because like this all the meta-relevant stuff relating to the set comes in the set. Like, a lot of stuff pr uh, prior has been invalidated. Um, actually, I was going to check Renunculus of Searing Heart. Um, because that's one of the... Not Ranunculus. Ranunculus of Searing Heart. Because this one always has a stupid-ass price tag. Um... So it's going for 25, which is the uh, cheapest it's ever been in recent history. Um, it's not really being seen because Blue Wash is better, and you want Inez because it has a rearguard ability. Uh, I am not going to be playing Searing Osh just because it doesn't have a rearguard ability for no reason. If I haven't said that enough on this channel, um, yeah, I think. All the prices, as I said earlier, for the Zoo Booster itself are going to remain about where they are because I'm doing it so close to the release date, but I'll keep it in mind for the Stargate Booster and every subsequent set to do them earlier in the Sneak Peek Week so it can be like more of a, hey, what's going to happen here and not, okay, just wait six hours. Uh, I need to pick up 
these pad minis because it's alt art and it's triple R instead of the regular R or promo one that I have. Um, how much is pad minis? I want to see if I can how cheap the SP ones are. I might want to pick up an SP me. Um, no, not gonna uh, spend sixty dollars on four SP pad minis unless one of you wants to hit me up with that. Uh, I think that wraps it up. Actually, you know, Worlds just ended, so let's make this one special. So, um, we saw the Dragonic Overlord prices earlier, 15 for Destiny, 57 for Purge. I, it's because it got that 6 out of top 8. I'm going to see what some of the Blaster stuff is, um, because, to everybody's surprise, Gansalot, uh, walked away the winner. Uh, Blaster walked away the winner. Uh, only 38 for Peace Saver which is actually lower than it's been, so there hasn't really been a lot of, um, hype surrounding it, make peop making people think that it's more of a mounted contender than what people first thought. Um, yeah, so it just seems for the most part, prices remain stagnant, um, pick up the stuff while you can, set drops tomorrow at the time of recording. Um, again, want to repeat the disclaimer at the beginning of the video, if something changes that I said wouldn't change, it's not my fault that you bought the card for that price. Um, yeah, what else is there? Uh, if you have any suggestions for how to do this further, please let me know. This is the first time I've done one of these videos, and I want the content to be as good as it can for our subscribers. So if you have any recommendations or other thoughts you want, uh, for me to put into these, uh, drop them down in the comments below, and have a great Nexus night. Uh, peace out, my dudes.